Welcome back to virtual reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo DEVR. In this cool video, I will show you how you can activate eye tracking and dynamic foveated rendering on the Pimax Crystal for the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. And that causes that wherever you look, this scene will be rendered at full resolution and everything else will be rendered in lower resolution. And that causes that you can save a lot of performance in the flight simulator. How that works, how you can install that and how it looks, I will show you in this video. Thank you to my sponsors, Woodlose VR, Opperman Events and Virtual Escape. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go. Okay guys, and let's check out how we can activate dynamic foveated rendering with the Pimax Crystal for the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So you will need four tools. That's very important. The first thing is the PyPlay tool. Yeah, this, the, it's this, this one here. That's very important, otherwise the Pimax doesn't even work. The next one is OpenXR tool, the, this one. Yeah. Then Pimax XR Control Center, this one. And Open Composite, this one. So, um, you will be able to download that. I will put the links in the description below. And the first thing, uh, I, I will uh, ask Pimax if I can uh, send you the beta version of the eye tracking. I, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to do that. Uh, you will see that then. Otherwise, you have to wait until the um, eye tracking is activated uh, here inside the Pi tool. So you will go for device settings. The, the Pimax is not connected, but it's no problem. You will go for device settings and then activate the eye tracking. I made a separate video about this, how to activate and calibrate eye tracking. So make sure the eye tracking works with the Pimax crystal. After that, you will install the OpenXR toolkit. <clears throat> it's just a, it's an execute file. You will have to install that. And then here in the tool, uh, make sure um, this is not um, switched on. So disable the OpenXR toolkit makes no sense. So of course it needs to be activated. Then the next thing is here, very important. You have to um, set the hotkeys for the in-game menu for OpenXR. So I switch that to uh, up for uh, up, <laughs> right, for right. Uh, so normally there's uh, F1, F2, F3 uh, and stuff, but to it, uh, switch it to this and it's uh, much better then. So then you can leave that open, you can minimize the, uh, that or whatever you want. <clears throat> the next thing is open XR, Pimax XR, open XR control center, this one. Make sure so install that, of course, and make sure select active OpenXR runtime is on Pimax XR. Very important. The rest you can, uh, here you can re leave that uh, switched on, recenter headset on startup and stuff. Uh, but very important here, switch that on. It says allow use of the eye tracker. Very important for Pimax Crystal, otherwise it will not use the eye tracking. That's it, you can minimize that or whatever. Uh, I just left it in the background and then or install that or just it, it's just a zip file open that and open the open composite and then click on switch to open composite very important that's um, that causes that you don't need to use steam VR anymore uh, and it should say status open composite uh, that's very important so if you did everything of that then go to steam Go on Microsoft Flight Simulator, go on play, ignore the message that VR is not supported. That's a lie. <laughs> and then when you are inside the game and you are on the, uh, in, inside the plane in the cockpit or whatever, then hit control tab. Yeah? Control tab makes sure that you switch into the VR mode and then you will see the game inside the headset. And then you will have to open the OpenXR in-game menu. And this looks like this. I, I cannot show it to you uh, because it's inside the headset only. So it's, it looks like this here. And you have to, to use these settings, um, overlay off, upscale to NIS, yeah, anamorphic on off, then uh, play around with the 
resolution of course it uh, depends on your uh, machine if you have a strong pc or something some, something and this one fixed foveated rendering you have to put on a preset or custom it depends um when, when you choose one of these you have uh, then there is a list under that menu point and it says use eye tracking of course you have to activate that switch it to on yeah, eye tracking has to be switched on and then the next one is turbo mode switch it to on yeah after that you will go in into the other menus here by clicking control right and then this menu appears and you will go for override resolution yes yeah, and then you will uh, play around with the display resolution. It depends on how strong your machine is. So, and after that, um, you j just wait uh, some seconds, uh, then the menu will uh, close. After that, switch back to non-VR mode by uh, pushing Control tab wait five seconds, then push it again, Control tab to switch back to the VR mode, then it will be applied, the changes. And after that, when you set the um, eye tracking correctly, it should already make use of the eye tracking and activated dynamic foveated rendering. You will see that when you look around in the cockpit, uh, it should be very uh, smooth, a very smooth experience and uh, eye tracking should be activated. And how that looks, we will see now. Okay guys, welcome to Flight Simulator and uh, as you perhaps can see, I already activated the eye tracking for dynamic foveated rendering and uh, I hope you can see it. Uh, when I look down, yeah, everything else is uh, uh, flickering, that means it's rendered at a very low resolution and this is what dynamic foveated rendering is. It, it's only doing the part uh, sharp and with highest resolution where I just look at. So I look left now, now I look right, I look down and I look up. And you can see uh, wherever I look the um, resolution is high and everything else not. So of course in your video that, that looks uh, pretty ugly but uh, when I use the headset now every, everywhere where I look it's very sharp and that's really nice so it can save a lot of performance. Um, only thing that I notice when I look straight now, I can see in my surroundings, I can see it uh, flickering because it's not at the highest resolution of course, but that's normal with dynamic foveated rendering. So that's really nice. Yeah. Uh, and and the, the nice thing is it's, there is no delay. It, it works perfectly. Yeah. There's uh, nothing, uh, uh, with a delay or something like that and that's that's so good uh, so I didn't I didn't expect that it works already so good with the dynamic foveated rendering and the Pimax crystal eye tracking so that's a, that's a really good thing especially in this game I mean uh, so many people buy this headset for the flight simulator and now they can even use the integrated eye tracking to save a lot of performance and it runs so very smooth I, I hope you can see it in the video. I, I don't really know, but here in the headset, it's ultra smooth. There is absolutely no stuttering or something like that. Yeah, it's really good. And yeah, that's that's a nice thing. So guys, um, it it depends of course on your on your PC. I have a 10,900K CPU with an RTX 3090, and it's really good. But if you have a better, like 1490 or something, then you can raise the um, resolution even higher, of course, in the OpenXR tools, and uh, then it looks even better. Uh, but but I think it's it's fine now. Yeah. So guys, uh, uh, if you want to buy the Pimax Crystal, you can uh, get twenty dollars off if you get uh, if you go via my link and enter the coupon code Voodoo.de. You can find it in the description and in the first pinned comment. That's really awesome. Yeah. That's really awesome. So guys, that's it so far. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya. Voodoo